Good afternoon. My name is Latrina. I was recently in Texas and saw one of your vehicles. Um, and I wanted to reach out because I feel like you might benefit from some of the custom videos that I make. These are free videos that I give to small businesses to help them improve their online presence and get more clients. There's no selling in this video. I assure you I'm making this video as a way to help back, to, to give back the community after the pandemic. Um, the only thing I ask is if you can let me know if you found it to be helpful um, at all so that I can continue to make the videos um, beneficial to our community. So what I will be covering is content, backlinks, and citations, and why these are important to have for your website. I'll also go over your company's website or online presence and make recommendations for improvement. Content is basically anything you have on your web page, your, your words, your images, your videos. You want to have at least 1,500 words because Google considers that to be ideal. Um, they consider websites that have sufficient content to be the experts in the field. So if you have a website with at least 1,500 words on your homepage and 500 on your back pages, you are considered an expert. You also want to get citations throughout the internet, um, listing your business name, your address, and your phone number. You want to have as many as you can and, and more than your competition. You also want to get your website address onto other websites. Now, I know you don't have a website. I've been searching, and we'll talk about that in a second. But backlinks are important because the more backlinks you have, the more your website address appears on the Internet, the more Google considers you to be an expert, and the more Google will send clients or um, browsers your way. So you'd want to get your website address on other websites to direct traffic to your business, okay? So let's take a look. So I saw your vehicle, but I couldn't find a website. And the only thing I found for you was on Facebook. It's good to have social pre um, social media presence, but it does not take the place of a website. You really need to get a website if you want people to take your business seriously and you want to be considered an expert, right? You want people to see Taurus and Sons as a legitimate expert quality company so you want to get a, a website it doesn't have to be something elaborate but you want to let google know that you're a legitimate business okay google not only looks for social media presence but website if you don't have a website then google is like mm, this might be a fly by night company um we may not want to rank them okay so if I look for construction companies in Amarillo, Texas, I do come up with Diaz Constructing, Contracting, which is a contractor, DeWald, General Contractor, but something special is showing up right here. This is the map pack. This is the prime real estate in Google. You want your business to be listed here. But there's something here that I found that you would be interested in knowing. Diaz Contracting does not have a website either and they are listed in this map pack. So why is that important to you? It's important to you, Torres um, and Sons, because it means you can easily knock them out of their spot and you would have a prime area in Google. 30 to 40% of the clicking that takes place in Google takes place here in this area. So this is considered low hanging fruit. You can easily, if you build your website, put 1,500 words on the homepage, 500 on your back pages, it you could easily outrank them. Now your page doesn't have to be elaborate. You just have your home page, have your services page, have an about us page. You've been in business for a while, it looks like. So have an about us page similar to what you have here in Facebook and um, have a contact us page so that people can contact you easily with your phone number, your email address, etc. And you can be sitting here in the map pack, okay? I'm telling you this only because I'm trying to help businesses to recover after the pandemic. And I see that your business is not getting the, the exposure that you could be getting, okay? If you did these things, you could be getting um, some of this traffic. Like DeWall, they're doing okay. They're not exceptional. I didn't have a whole lot of time to look up, but they're getting about 26 clicks per day in Google. Their page probably needs improvement as well. But what I'm telling you is that if you get your page up, get your, 
your keywords. The keywords are the things people are typing in, right? So let me look. You do quite a bit. It looks like you do kitchen restorations. You do home improvement. Um, anything that you do, you want to use as a, as a keyword on your homepage so that Google will know, hey, Taurus and Sons can handle what this person is needing. This person needs bathroom restoration. This person needs bathroom remodeling, kitchen remodeling, um, living room repair, stair replacements, anything like that. You would be ideal to Google if you had a homepage, if you had a website that actually had these keywords. So I'm going to end it here. I went longer than I wanted, but I saw your truck. I figured I can reach out and give you some helpful tips. Um, you could be getting a lot more traffic than you probably are getting. And so I wanted to just give you some feedback. Please shoot me an email. Let me know if you thought this was helpful. If it was not clear, if you have questions, feel free to reach out and let me know. And I'll be happy to explain in more detail to you. Okay. Otherwise, I wish you much success and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.